In this video presentation, I shall discuss the short question answer that is two or three marks question and answer from a story. The name of the story is Bholi and the writer is K. A. Abbas. There are 21 questions. I have also given the answers of those questions. The first question is, what were the physical and mental problems of Bholi? The answer to the question is, the physical problem of Bholi was that she could not speak till she became five years old. Moreover, there were black pock marks on her entire body. Her mental problem was that she was mentally retarded. It counted for her foolishness. The next question is, mention the difference in physical appearance in the children of Ramlal. The answer to the question is, the other children of Ramlal were healthy, but Bholi did not have good health. Then. The other daughters of Ramlal were good looking, but there were pock marks all over Bholi's body. Finally, they had good marital prospects and their brothers had good academic prospects, but Bholi had none. The third question is, why did Bholi's mother suggest sending Bholi to school? The answer to the question is, Bholi's mother believed that if girls went to school, they would not get married. However, Bholi was neither good-looking nor wise. So according to her mother, there was no possibility of her getting married. Therefore, she suggested sending Bholi to school. The fourth question is, how did Bholi react when Ramlal told that he would take her to school? The answer to the question is, Bholi did not know about school. So when Ramlal told that he would take her to school, she became frightened. When she remembered that their old cow was turned out of the house and sold, she shouted in terror to express her strong opposition to going to school. The fifth question is, why did Ramlal call Bholi a fool? The answer to the question is, Ramlal always thought that Bholi was devoid of sense. So when Bholi refused to go to school, this impression was retarded. He could not understand the reason for Bholi's unwillingness to go to school. So he called her a fool. The sixth question is, what does the writer say about the kind of dress Bholi wears? The answer to the question is, according to the writer, Bholi is not allowed to wear new dresses. Moreover, she usually wears the dresses of her elders and these are usually crinkly. More importantly, her dresses are never washed and repaired. However, on the day she is sent to school, she is given a washed dress. The seventh question is, what were the girls doing when Bholi went to school? The answer to the question is, when Bholi went to school, the girls were already in their respective classrooms. They were squatting on mats. They were either reading from books or writing on slates. This is what is expected to be the situation in the classroom of a school. The eighth question is, how did Bholi associate the paintings in her classroom with those of her acquaintances. The answer to the question is, in terms of color, Bholi associated the painted horse with the one on which the Tehsildar had come to their village, the painted goat with the one of their neighbor and the painted parrot with the one in the mango orchard. Finally, she associated the painted cow with their cow. The next question is, what happened when the lady teacher asked Bholi her name? The answer to the question is, when the lady teacher asked Bholi her name, Bholi stammered and could not utter her name fully. So, she began to cry. Not only that, she lowered her head. Later, her cry degenerated to sobbing which was an expression of frustration. The tenth question is, why did Bholi decide to make a second attempt to utter her name? 
the answer to the question is bolly found that the lady teacher was kind to her and to her incapacity in speaking moreover she felt that the teacher would not laugh at her failure so she decided to make a second attempt to utter her name the 11th question is to which sorry in which attempt did bolly succeed in telling her name and to what effect the answer to the question is bolly succeeded in telling her name in the third attempt as you can see there are two parts of the question the answer to the second part of the question is as it was some kind of an achievement on her part she was relieved the lady teacher encouraged her by saying that if she could keep the fear away she would be able to speak like anyone else the 12th question is which changes came to the village where bholi lived became a small town the answer to the question is as the village where bholi lived became a small town the primary school was elevated to a high school moreover a cinema hall with a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill were set up finally the mail train started to stop at the railway station of the village the 13th question is how was the first book which the lady teacher gave bolly the answer to the question is the first book which the lady teacher gave bolly was full of colored pictures and each picture had a word in big black letters the pictures were of a dog a cat a goat a horse a parrot a tiger and a cow just like lakshmi the 14th question is what did ramlal suggest to his wife one night and to what effect the answer to the first part of the question is one night ramlal suggested to his wife that they should accept the proposal of bishwambar the answer to the second part of the question is ramlal however was doubtful about his reaction to it his wife did not want to lose the prospect of having such a well to do son in law especially in the context of bolly's problematic appearance and sense the 15th question is describe the wedding ceremony of bolly the answer to the question is the wedding ceremony of bolly was full of pomp and splendor the bridegroom bishwambarnath came riding on a decorated horse a brass band played a popular tune from an indian film the entire ceremony overjoyed ramlal and made bolly's elder sisters envious of her luck the 16th question is reproduce the verbal encounter between ramlal and bishwambar the answer to the question is at the moment of garlanding bolly bishwambar noticed the pock marks on her face so changing his stance of marrying without dowry he claimed for a dowry of 5000 rupees ramlal requested him to manage with 2000 rupees and prayed him not to humiliate him by returning without marrying you must keep in mind that while reading out the answer i i said 500 rupees rather it should be 5000 rupees we shall move to the next question the next question is reproduce the conversation between the friend and bishwambar over the issue of marrying the answer to the question is bishwambar told his friend that bholi had pock marks on her face in reply the friend told him to overlook it because he was not young enough to marry bishwambar refused to listen to him and said that he would not marry bholi unless he was paid 5000 rupees the next question is how did the behavior of bishwambar change after he received 5000 rupees and to what effect the answer to the question is after bishwambar received 5000 rupees he decided to garland bholi the answer to the second part of the question is however bholi as opposed to her hitherto downcast look 
looked at him with an attitude of cold contempt. Moreover, she hit at the hand of Bishambar, and so the garland was thrown away into the fire. The nineteenth question is, what was Holy willing to do and not to do for the Ijjat of her father? The answer to the question is, for the Ijjat of her father, Holy was willing to marry the lame old man. However, she was not willing to marry a mean, greedy and hateful man, such as Bishwambar said was. Actually, she was prepared to compromise with physical deformity, not with moral deformity. The penultimate question from the story is, what did Bholi say about her future planning? The answer to the question is, Bholi said that she would serve her parents in their old age. She added that she would teach in the school where she learned so much. She said these things about her future planning. In short, she wanted to lead a life of self-respect and economic independence. The final question from this story is, how did the lady teacher react to Bholi's decision of teaching in the school where the latter read? The answer to the question is, the lady teacher smiled to hear Bholi's decision of teaching in the school where the latter read. There was an expression of satisfaction in her face. It seemed as if she was an artist and this transformed Bholi was her masterpiece. I think I have satiated your curiosity so far as the question regarding two or three marks question from the story Bholi is concerned. Now, before concluding this video presentation, I request you to subscribe my YouTube channel. The name of my YouTube channel is Priyankar Dotto. I also request you to put forward your comments in the comment section of this video presentation. If you like this video presentation, you must share it to your friends so that they can also be benefited. And before concluding, I thank you.